Uh, at Memorial Sloan Kettering, we have actually a huge center for primary CNS lymphoma, which is otherwise a rare disease. So we looked at all patients with the fuse large B cell subtype of primary central nervous system uh, lymphoma, diagnosed all the way from 1983 until 2020. So we had a huge timeline. Um, and we looked at these patients, we had 559 of them. So they needed to have primary central nervous system lymphoma, no other sites of disease outside of the CNS. We looked at their patterns of disease failure. And this was important to us. I'm a radiation oncologist and radiation has a long history of effectiveness in this disease. So we wanted to see if there's any way that we could incorporate it as a focal treatment instead of a whole brain treatment, which is historically how it's been done. So we wanted to look at if there are any patients who actually had local disease failure, meaning when they had progression of disease, was it always diffusely disseminated or was it involving the original site of disease? So we looked at these 559 patients who had induction therapy. About 95% of patients had methotrexate-containing induction therapy. So that was very nice to have for our analysis, very homogeneous population. 385 of those patients went on to receive consolidation. So consolidation could be either uh, autologous stem cell transplant, whole brain radiation, either standard dose, which is 45 gray typically, or low dose, which is 23.4 gray typically. Um, they could have chemotherapy alone, so non-myeloablative chemotherapy like cytarabine or some other type of, uh, of treatment. We looked at these 385 patients and we looked at where these patients failed later on down the line. We looked at all of their MRIs before treatment uh, and then where they ended up failing later on. And when we looked at these MRIs, we actually did not see any significant relationships between their primary site of disease and where they fail later on. So for instance, we looked at the laterality. So having left-sided disease did not mean that you'd automatically fail on the left side. We looked at deep white matter structures. We looked at leptomeningeal involvement. So all these MRI features, we did not see any predictors of disease failure. But interestingly, when we looked at patients who actually had early relapse, we defined that as patients who failed within three months of their induction therapy or they progressed on induction, we actually found that these patients were significantly more likely to fail at the original site of disease. So they had a local failure more often than they had a non-local failure. Um, when we looked at patients who underwent consolidation and failed later on down the line, that's where we saw that it was unpredictable. So basically the main take home from this uh, research that we've been doing is that there is this high risk population of patients who actually fail at the original site of disease. And so a local treatment may be effective in this high risk uh, subcohort.